Today, we're going to be figuring out how we can get that Section 8 cheddar. Andy from Korea, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise. Currently right now, due to the coronavirus pandemic, I am filming at my home office instead of the normal Holton Wise TV studio that you're used to seeing. Uh, you guys know the deal, but that does not mean real estate investing has to stop. Yes, our scenery has changed, but as investors, we need to remain aggressive because right now there's some opportunities out there that we would normally not be able to get our hands on because there are, there's essentially two camps of investors and property owners out there right now. Camp one, they're scared. Uh, there's a lot of economic uncertainty happening right now and they are liquidating and trying to remain with as much cash on hand as possible. And then of course we got my second group of investors, those investors who see everyone else running scared, trying to liquidate, and they are scooping up properties at discounted rates like we've never seen before. You know, back in, uh, you know, 10, 12, however many years ago it was at this point, you guys remember the first uh, great, you know, the biggest, you know, real estate collapse in modern history, the great recession, blah, 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 blah. I started Holton Wise on the back end of that recession. So a lot of money can be made in real estate when things are in chaos. I'm not, I'm not saying we should take advantage of anybody else, but look guys, uh, sometimes you got to be aggressive. You got to act when uh, there's chaos out there. And right now this coronavirus thing is creating a lot of chaos in the market. And Andy agrees with me. Andy, you're an investor from Korea. You know, I, we've been working together uh, back and forth. Just so everybody else out there who's watching the show, um, when you contract with me, you get these videos sent to you privately. And then 60 to 90 days later, I release them publicly on Holton Wise TV after these deals are gone. So the properties I'm going over with Andy today, these are not available for sale for you. If you'd like to work with my team one-on-one, -on -one, work with me one-on-one, -on -one, have me find properties based on your needs, like I've done for Andy, you need to go to holtonwise.com, click the property search for sale tab, go to the MLS search and analysis show and order yourself a package like Andy has done. If you're not trying to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you kind of know what you're doing. You just want the opportunity to bid on properties. Then what you want to do is make sure you're watching the investment properties for sales show and make sure you're subscribed to that on our mailing list. In addition to the YouTube channel, because we email the properties we're selling every day, 1 PM Eastern standard time, you get a full video tour and then you just get the opportunity to bid on those properties right there. But for other investors, you want more. You want more than what we're selling on that show because you know there's 5,000 real estate agents in the Cleveland market, and I am able to look at all of their inventory and find you the properties that fit your needs, like my guy Andy from Korea. Also, one other thing why we're giving advice to everybody, just so you know, there's not really a lot of folks out there in Korea named Andy. Very common when I work with foreign national clients who we work with all the time. Uh, they usually... Uh, have a United States name, a name they go by when they're doing business in the United States because, uh, you know, very hard to pronounce their actual uh, birth names and the names they're using in Korea. Andy is no different. But Andy, me and you, we've been going back and forth, brother. We've been looking at a lot of properties. We're, we're putting in bids. We're, we're going, we're doing things. And what you really like is you like that high cash flow stuff. You like that Section 8 income and these properties that I've got for you today, brother. Woo, these are some Section 8 opportunities. First one, 3441 West 56, Cleveland, 44102. This has been on the market for 12 days, so it's a new property listed by a company called Realty Trust Services. They've listed it at 59900 What it has right now, two tenants. I believe they are cash-paying tenants. One paying five fifty, the other paying five fifty. One's a two-bed, one's a three-bed. That's going to come into play. So total. 1100 a month right now, 13200 a year. I think, Andy, we could pick this up at approximately 55000 Now, this just came back on the market. It, it was immediately put under contract right when it went on the market. And then for whatever reason, that fell out of contract and it's available again. 
Now, this is a good deal. A lot of the properties I show you, we're, we're getting, uh, you know, huge discounts off the list price. Like the, the previous property, the one we just did on West 89th, I believe uh, that was offered for like 55 or 59 and me and you working together, negotiating with those agents and the sellers and the fact that you're a cash buyer, we were able to negotiate that price all the way down to like 35K. So we got you between 20 and $25,000 off the advertised price on that one here. I believe we can pick this up for fifty-five thousand. Only a five thousand dollar discount. But you gotta understand, you know, the, this is a discount off the list of price. This particular property was just priced really, really well. Okay, they just priced this to move. They want this thing to fly. Um, so that is an insane price. Now, I'm gonna go through the numbers with you based upon what we currently have as far as rental income. Now, these in my uh, in my my estimation or not, do not appear to be Section 8 tenants. We want to replace these tenants eventually with Section 8 tenants, and that's going to increase our cash flow. But what I want to show you right now is what you're going to be getting right off the bat if you purchase this. So we bring in 1100 I want you to anticipate spending 55 on repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment CapEx, right? All these things, when you own rental property, guys, these are costs that are going to occur. I know a lot of times turnkey providers or sellers of rental properties, they're not breaking it down like this for you guys. They're just saying, yo, this is your rent. And beyond that, you got your taxes, your insurance, your mortgage, but they don't include these things because these things don't happen every month. But dude, they happen, guys. This is a D-class property. Now, I happen to like this D-class neighborhood a lot more than any other D-class neighborhood in the Cleveland market. The reason I like this so much is two things. To the east of this neighborhood, we've got the Metro Health um, facility investing a billion, be like boy, a billion dollars into the neighborhood. I believe that is going to have a positive effect, uh, positive effect on this whole neighborhood. Now, this is a, a little bit, you know, further down, like that's West 25th. This is West 56. So what is that like 21 street? So it's not like right, right there. You can't like see the hospital from your front yard, but it's very, very close. If you're sick and you're living in this property, that's the hospital you're going to. So I anticipate a big positive effect in this neighborhood there. In addition, just to the north, okay, to the north of this property, we got the hottest neighborhoods in the Cleveland market. We got Edgewater, Detroit, Shoreway, Ohio City, Tremont. Those are the hot spots. When you hear about the resurgence in Cleveland, those are the neighborhoods they're talking about. So just to the north, we got a ton of economic development. Just to the east, we got a ton of committed economic development, a billion-dollar project. To the west, we got Lakewood. So everything surrounding this particular neighborhood leads me to believe that in the coming years, this is the next neighborhood in the Cleveland market that I'm going to see an uptick in property values, an uptick in quality. But right now, it's risky. And I know a lot of you guys out there are trying to avoid risk. It makes sense, right? Because, uh, you know, these numbers we're going over, if you get a string of bad tenants, they'll just fucking blow these numbers to shit. But that is why it's so important we go after that Section 8 income right now because that Section 8 income is guaranteed by the government. When you're in a high-risk neighborhood like this, the biggest issue is your tenants don't pay rent. So then you got to pay to a victim. They fuck the property up, and then you got to pay us to fix the property up. So your repairs and maintenance, your vacancy and non-payment – all of those things right there, they're all interrelated. If we can get Section 8 tenants in there, that's going to reduce all of those issues because if the tenant doesn't have income, it does not matter because the government is paying for that. So that's going to keep those tenants in there longer. That means no renovation costs for you guys. You're not turning the units over every year or two. So that's what we want. We want to go after those Section 8 tenants. But again, right now, I don't believe we have those. So we're just going over the numbers based upon what we have right now. But you're going to pocket that stuff because eventually these folks are going to leave. I don't want to sell you a property in a D-class neighborhood and tell you, man, these tenants are awesome. They're going to be there in the next 20 years. I don't fucking know that. And odds are good. The numbers, the statistics, the data we have available for me running a $50 million portfolio, I know that these tenants are probably not going to live there for 20 years and they're probably not going to pay rent uh, every month. You know, In the next 20 years you own this property, um, all things be equal. If you just had cash paying tenants in there, I would anticipate you're going to have several turnovers, bro, right?
Uh, so that's just, uh, that's why we have to break down these numbers and you have to calculate for these things, right? Going back to the chart, taxes 64, insurance 60. Click the show notes below, guys. You want to save money on your insurance? I own an insurance business. We will save you money. Water sewer, you got to pay for that 150 if you're curious to know why. Go to HoltonWise.com, click our property management fact. I explain it. It's a whole long story, but it's all explained in our fact. Lawn care, 44. Property management, 110. So of the current, 1100 bucks is bringing in. I anticipate you're going to spend on average 593 which is going to bring home 507 a month on average or 6084 a year. That, as it sits, is an 11 cap, okay? That ain't bad. That's good, right? That's good. And now, Andy, I know we've decided you're targeting high cash flow properties and you just want to pay cash for now. In the past, we've talked about doing loans and this or that. But, you know, as you and I have been working together, that's why these packages you guys can get where you do up to 10 properties with me, you contract to do 10 properties. You give, you give me what you want to do. I find you properties. We talk about it. And then we shift on the next video. You know, Andy and I, we've kind of started here. Then we went this way. We went this way. We went this way. We're just like narrowing things down that make the most sense for him while I'm educating him on exactly what's available for him. So we, we've shifted gears throughout the videos I've done with him. And I can do that for you guys. But if you pay in cash, right, you're going to make approximately 6084 a year as it sits right now. Under that, I've broken down what this would look for. If you were to finance this on a traditional 30-year loan, now, Andy, you're a foreign national, so your terms uh, that you had were not this good. I believe your interest rate was like 6 8 and they wanted a higher down payment, and this property was probably too low as far as the cost goes for those um, mortgage mortgage companies that are writing loans to foreign nationals. They want to see a higher purchase price. But for all my U.S. folks who's watching Andy's show right now, those are the numbers you can anticipate if you were to finance this. But we're going to move on from that quickly because Andy, he ain't financing this. He's paying cash. Now, all this makes sense so far, right? This is all pretty good for right now. 11 cap, you buy this, hopefully we get it for 55000 and then you collect that money. And then here's, here's what we do, Andy, to keep your costs down, to keep those costs from ballooning up due to the high risk of this neighborhood. When we get a natural turnover at one of these tenants, because dude, it's making money right now. So the worst thing we could do is take this over and immediately try to kick out one of your tenants. You don't want to kick out a revenue stream, right? They're paying you. You're making money. Property makes money. When the property won't make money is as soon as we get that turnover, then you got to spend money, right? We want to keep that money coming into you. So we're going to let these cash paying tenants ride. As soon as we have an issue, one of the tenants moves out. Maybe they stop paying rent. We evict them, or maybe they want to move out on their own. As soon as that happens, then we go in. We probably spend like, you know, five to 10K. I don't really know uh, exactly how much it'll be at that time because it hasn't occurred yet. But we spend that money getting the unit Section 8 ready. Okay. We go Section 8. That's going to alleviate a lot of our risk going forward. Keep your cash flow consistent, even though the neighborhood is a little higher risk uh, than most people are comfortable with and that we'd like to see. But I'm betting heavy on this particular D-class pocket of Cleveland. I, I see a lot of good things happening in the next 10 years here. So I, th I think we're going to see some appreciation in this particular neighborhood, guys. So if you're out there and you're looking for the next neighborhood on the move in the Cleveland market, if you're looking to get a little spec, a little spec play there, along with your cash flow, I believe this is the market to do that. And I don't say that about a lot of the markets in Cleveland. Like there's C-class neighborhoods, like the old Brooklyn neighborhood right below this, just south of this neighborhood. I love that neighborhood. That's my favorite cash flow neighborhood, but you don't ever hear me talking about speculation on how that neighborhood is going to change over the next 10 years because I don't think it's going to change. I, I think it's going to be pretty much exactly what it is today in 10 years. This neighborhood, I think, is going up. And you, you want to hop on a neighborhood when it's on its way up, right? So all that, all that. That's why I'm high on this particular neighborhood. After one of those tenants moves out, we do the renovation, 510K, get you a Section 8 tenant in there. Now, here's the cool thing. One of the units is two beds, one bath. With Section 8, we should be able to get that rent up to 650 So that's 100 bucks more. The other unit is three beds, one bath, and the Section 8 vouchers are going to be higher on that one. We're anticipating approximately 750 bucks a month for that unit. So currently, this bad boy brings in 1100 But what a lot of investors out there who are maybe looking at this property are not aware 
this could be bringing in an additional $300 because market rents are much higher um, than what this current landlord is charging. And of course, since it's Section 8, it alleviates a lot of the risk with this neighborhood. So that's why I think this one is going to fit in your portfolio perfectly. So if you'd like to move forward on this, as you know, just let us know, sales at HoltonWise.com. Me and my team of assistants, we will get to the negotiation table with the listing agent and the seller. Now we got to go to a quick commercial break, give my voice a rest. Let me get some uh, hydration and then we're going to get into the second property that I found for you. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Hey, Andy, welcome back, man. Now, the second property I've got for you, uh, sim same neighborhood, more or less. We're about 12 streets west, 3144 West 68th, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. This one is a single family, not multifamily. Now, this one has been sitting on the market for a long time, dude, 104 days. I'm guessing because maybe the tenant isn't, uh, you know, easy to deal with. Most, uh, most real estate agents, guys. Most real estate agents in the Cleveland market, or just any market in, in the world, folks, most real estate agents, like 99.9% .9 of real estate agents, the properties they sell, they sell homes, right? They, they are using these as they consider these places people live, right? So you, you want to buy a home, you talk to the majority of real estate agents, you're like, yo, I want to buy a home. They're like, oh, okay, cool. We go look at the house. You like the house. You move in. Your family lives there with your 2.5 kids, your white picket fence, and your fucking dog. I don't know. That's what real estate agents do not what I do. I sell money. I don't look at these as homes, right? Like, Andy, you live in Korea. You ain't ever going to live in this property. You're probably never going to actually see this property in person, right? This to you is like a stock. It's financial investment, right? Uh, so because of that, when there's tenant occupied properties, uh, you know, it's, it's hard for a lot of the other agents to get them sold. They're showing issues, blah, 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 blah. That's why Holton Weiss is so successful in the Cleveland market. That's why we're the number one seller of rental properties. We've got Holton Weiss TV. Nobody else is doing anything like this. Nobody else is breaking these down uh, for you like this because nobody's focusing on, on this market, right? They're in the market of selling people homes that they're going to live in. That's great. That's a you know, great service. We need that service, uh, but that's just not what I do. I do this and I do this alone, and that's why – when we see properties like this on the market, dude, I salvate because we could snag these good deals that people are, are missing, right? Because this one, this is cool, man. I, I like the neighborhood. I talked at length about this neighborhood, why I like this neighborhood, talked about the risk levels um, of this neighborhood. So we don't need to continue on with that. Let's just talk about what this property has. Two beds, two baths, currently bringing in $750 a month or $9,000 a year. My goal is to pick this up for you at a low, 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 low price, brother. I think I could pick this thing up for you for only $22,000, dude, 22 grand. That is cheap as hell. If we pick this up at $22,000, going through the chart with our estimated costs, again, I don't want to spend a ton of time on this. We just went through all these costs, all the things associated with that. couple things I'd like to highlight 
that uh, are going to be different on this property than the last property are insurance. Dude, we'll be able to insure this thing for under 500 bucks a month, most likely, because it is just so cheap, right? We're going to try to pick this up for 22 k I mean, that is nothing. I've got credit cards with credit lines that are way higher than the value of this house, the cost, the price that I think I'm going to be able to pick this house up for you, right? In addition to that, that means the taxes are going to be dirt fucking cheap, dude. 515 a year is what the current owner is paying. And then lawn care. It's a single family home. So long as we provided the tenants at least a shed uh, to store lawn equipment, you don't have to pay Holton Weiss to come cut the grass. We could put that on the tenant. That's something we cannot put onto the tenant when we're dealing with multifamilies like the previous property. But after you account for all that, dude, this thing should bring you 406 a month on average or 4,872, which is a 22 cap as it sits. As far as financing, uh, did not go into any of the financing terms because guys, anybody else watching this, you know, Andy, me and you, we've been going back and forth on the lenders. You know the terms the lenders are willing to offer you as a Korean citizen. All my other folks out there who are watching this video who are in the U.S., uh, you can send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com. I will get you my list of lenders. They typically write... 30-year low interest, fixed interest loans on all the properties we sell. Um, and they go low, 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 like the previous property. They could finance the hell out of that for you guys. But this one, this is so goddamn cheap uh, that we're not going to be able to get you a traditional loan because they will loan as low. They will do mortgages as low as $20,000. Okay, can't do that here because as a non-owner occupied investor buyer, you got to put up 25%. So because we're targeting such a low price, um, it'll fall below the threshold. And then that gets into predatory lending because, you know, the, the minimum fees they need to charge for it to be a profitable loan would be too, uh, too high in relation to the, the size of the mortgage. So this has just got to be a straight cash play, but so cheap, right? 22 cap. And that's as it sits right now, Andy, talking about Section 8 again. I think it's dangerous. I think it's too, too dangerous to go into this neighborhood with the expectation of getting cash paying tenants in there. Is this tenant a great tenant? I don't know. How long is this tenant going to pay rent before we have to evict them? I don't know. Is this tenant going to disappear in the middle of the night? I don't know, right? We could ask the seller. I could be like, yo, seller, what's up? Is this tenant good? And the seller's going to be like, yeah, yeah, this is a great tenant, man. I love this tenant. This is the best tenant I ever had, blah, 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 blah. That's what sellers are going to say, guys. Sellers don't typically uh, like to be forthcoming with uh, ant antidotal information like that. They're not going to be like, no, man, fuck this tenant. This tenant sucks. I hate being a landlord. It's horrible. Uh, uh, this thing stresses me out. I wish I never bought it, right? Uh, that's not a very good sales pitch now, is it? So uh, the seller ain't going to tell us that. So they're going to tell us the tenant's great, but look, man, high-risk neighborhood. I talked about it at length in, uh, earlier in the video, first segment of the video here. So we don't have to, you know, beat a dead horse, but we just know that, you know, that risk is out there. Eventually bad stuff's going to go down with this tenant and we're going to replace that tenant with the section eight tenant. And then we're going to alleviate our risk. Does it eliminate our risk? No, but it makes a high risk neighborhood like this very tolerable um, is from a risk profile uh, standpoint, right? In addition to that, the rent, the rent's low, dude, 750. No, we're going to get that up, man. Normally, I like to target three-bedroom homes because the vouchers are great, right? Very rarely are they going to be under 1,000. The two-bedroom vouchers are lower typically, right? We talked about uh, the voucher size that uh, I believe we'd be getting in a two-bedroom over there. But because this is a single family as opposed to duplex, the voucher is going to be higher. In addition, what's great with this one, this is why I really like this one, it's not a two-bed, one-bath. It's a two-bed, two-bath. Section 8, when, they're, when they send their appraisers out there, they specifically will give – you more money towards your voucher for things like additional bedrooms and additional bathrooms. So that second bathroom is going to keep our rent high. I anticipate the section eight rental amount for this particular property because they don't like, I have a chart on holtonwise.com, our section eight fact. I have a chart that explains uh, what they could pay up to for certain homes, but it is very much a chaotic system. That's why we have an entire Section 8 FAC on our website. That's why we have to charge you a little bit more than the normal property management fees to handle all the red tape. Because the Section 8 tenants, when you're in a high-risk neighborhood like this, a lot of people think 
they're going to be, people are like, oh, Section 8 tenants, they're bad tenants. It's the neighborhood that brings you in the level of risk of the tenants. So Section 8 actually gives you better tenants in a high-risk neighborhood because their income is consistent. Uh, the negatives of the Section 8 program in these low-income neighborhoods are not because of the tenants. They're actually because of the program itself. ton of red tape. A lot of property managers won't work with Section 8 because it's so much more work for us as property managers. But at Holt Wise, we embrace that. Yes, we're, we're going to charge you. We're going to charge you for that. We don't do anything for free, obviously. Uh, but we've created a win-win situation. We've got hundreds of Section 8 units, and we're adding more and more every day uh, because – you know, it, it just alleviates a lot of the risk for our investor base. So we have a good rapport with the Section 8 uh, folks, but it's not always going to be super smooth. And when you talk to the Section 8 employees, if you talk to five Section 8 employees, you ask them all the same question, you're probably going to get five answers. And as far as the rental rates, they go on a property by property basis. So I can't just narrow down for you exactly what they're going to pay. Because I mean, sometimes it varies, dude. Sometimes it's like, what what happened there sometimes they they make a rental offer and it's higher than i thought uh and sometimes it's like a little bit lower so i believe it should be 875 to 900 but i've seen them literally give different rental amounts for like identical properties in the same neighborhood so sometimes it's like a draw sometimes they give us a, a rental voucher that's too low my team we could fight back and be like yo what, what what's up and then we'll provide them data from other properties that they've done vouchers on we're like no wh why is this this rate you've uh, given us vouchers for property A, B, and C over here. They're all similar. You need to adjust. And sometimes we could, we could move some adjustments. But anytime you're working with the government, just know there's a lot of bureaucracy involved. It's a very slow process, and there's a ton of red tape. So, so long as you're aware of those pitfalls, I think it could be great, and I think you can anticipate the long haul bringing in 875 to 900 while alleviating your risks and then can't stress it enough this neighborhood i think there's a lot of meat on the bone looking for like 10 years out five ten years out because of all the good things happening to the north you got lakewood to the west we got metro to the east you got a nice c-class solid neighborhood to the south of this neighborhood so i love this deal i think it makes sense and for you man just come in with your cash and we can hopefully pick it up for cheap dude Twenty two thousand for a home i mean you know, 22 cap projection here. That uh, That's some good stuff. So, Andy, if you want to make an offer on this one as well, you know the drill, sales at holtonwise.com. We will uh, begin the no negotiation process with the seller and the listing agent. And again, anybody else, if uh, this is something you're interested in, you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, work with my team one-on-one -on -one to work directly for you. I don't work for the seller. I don't know the seller. I don't know anything about this property other than my market knowledge and what I can do for you. So my entire goal with the negotiations of this property is to make the best deal for you, Andy. I don't owe this seller anything. So I am going to negotiate like a motherfucking pit bull to get you the best possible price. That's one of the things you can get with me, guys. Watch my show. You know, I'm a little rough around the edges, right? Uh, I, I call it like I see it and I'm a fucking savage. And, uh, you know, that's what you want in your corner when you're trying to negotiate, right? I'm a hard-nosed negotiator, and because of that, I'm able to, to pull down some pretty solid deals for my clients. Like this one, I believe I've got the ability to pull this one uh, for approximately $22,000. That's going to be our target price. So, HoltonWise.com, property search for sale tab. Click the MLS search analysis show. Order yourself some packages to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. That's all I've got for you all today on this episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee 
as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.